school in the heat. We begin with Max Resnick. He's live now with how TPS is keeping kids cool. Max? The TPS plan is really twofold. When the temperatures reach 95 degrees or go above, each student will be provided a bottle of water prior to getting on the bus. The heat indices also play a big role and can change how the school day goes as well. Before getting on her bus home, Rosalind Harris knows what she's up against. It's like really, really hot. And on the school bus, it's an entirely different ball game. Like with all the people talking and the heat, it's just like, it's like you're all squished together and like you get motion sickness sometimes. There you go. On days when it's 95 degrees or higher, Tulsa Public Schools hands out water bottles to kids jumping on the bus for the ride home. Uh, it helps keep the students cool while they're riding the bus, understanding that uh, the temperature on the bus is going to be uh, hotter than the actual temperature itself. Terry Evans, ride operations manager for Tulsa Public Schools, says about 19,000 students are eligible to ride the bus on 161 routes. He says there's enough water for each student, and drivers are trained to spot heat-related illness. Watch for students that are that appear to be uh, faint, looking faint, and, and in a lot of cases, students will let us know when they're not when they're not feeling well. Well, Rosalind's ride might only be five minutes. She says the water goes a long way in keeping cool. I think that's really smart so kids don't get sick or like they don't get too hot and pass out. Without AC on the bus, students are also encouraged to slide down their windows. TPS also tells me that when the heat index reaches 105 degrees or above, students will not be allowed on the playground. Now, paying attention to those heat advisories is up to each principal at each school. So you can see those heat advisory uh, categories. Go to KJRH.com. Live in Midtown tonight, Max Resnick, 2 News works for you.